uh, 345 this morning with a call for a tanker rollover, as you can see behind us, uh, carrying 12,000 gallons of uh, gasoline. Uh, so uh, it's a pretty serious uh, situation. Gasoline is pretty volatile. Um, we worked with the uh, DPW here in Howard to quickly build a berm uh, around the tanker because uh, it was leaking gasoline to, to try to contain that as uh, best we could. Uh, it has, at this point, is uh, slowed to a trickle. Uh, most of the, we believe that most of the product is still on uh, the tank. We're not sure how much uh, actually leaked out. Uh, we're monitoring. Um, we're monitoring the catch basins. We're, we also we have a uh, we have water that's close by, so we're concerned about contamination. So we're uh, deploying a boom uh, to catch anything coming out of the catch basin. Uh, the Howard's water department is here. They're concerned about contamination of the water supply, uh, so they're monitoring that. Uh, we're also concerned about uh, spreading fumes. We've got uh, residences on both sides. So we've got, uh, we've got people on both sides monitoring the fumes and the uh, threat level on both sides. Um, at this point, we've got almost too many agencies here to, uh, to talk about, uh, but DEP, Mass DEP is here, uh, and they're working together with the remediation company. So any, any tanker like this, they have to have a remediation company on retainer. Uh, they are here ready to do the offloading uh, of that product. The driver uh, made it out okay. Uh, he was evaluated and was not transported to Cape Cod Hospital.